Welcome to Manitol. Our custom resume feature lets you fully personalize the appearance of your candidate's resume using templates and share these templates with your team. In this video, we'll guide you on how to create and manage your custom resumes, as well as how to generate candidate resumes. Please note that any user can generate custom resumes, but only admin users can manage the custom resume settings in the administration. Changes to templates will apply to all users under your company account. Let's get started. To manage your custom resume templates, go to Administration, then Resumes, and click on Custom Resume. Here you can edit the general settings and manage your templates. In the Settings section, you can add your organization's name, email address, website, and physical address, which can be directly inserted into your custom resumes. In Templates, click on Manage your custom resume templates to create new templates and manage existing ones. To create your first template, click on New Template at the top right. Fill in a name and select a template layout. For this example, we'll choose the Resume Layout template. Once selected, click on Continue. In the Custom Resume Template Editor, you'll see two tabs. The Global Content tab is for managing resume styling, including the header and footer, and configuring settings like adding watermarks and logos. Options may vary depending on the selected template layout. In the Resume Content tab, you can select and organize sections and fields to include in the candidate's resume. The Resume Content tab is organized into sections, each containing several fields. To display or hide a section or field, toggle the switch next to it. Reorder sections or fields by dragging and dropping them using the six dots icon. You can create a new section by clicking on Add New Section and add a new field in that section by clicking on Add New Field. When adding a new field, you can choose between default Manitol fields marked as native and custom candidate fields marked as custom. You can also select the free text area field to allow users to input any information when generating the resume. Name a section by filling in the relevant field. Delete a section or a field by clicking the X icon next to it. Once you're done with your edits, save your template and return to the Templates page. You'll find your new template along with any existing custom templates. To edit a template, click on View to open the template editor, make your changes, and save them. To delete, duplicate, or rename a template, click on the three dots next to it and select the desired action from the drop-down menu. Finally, you can set a template as the default, making it the pre-selected option when users generate a new custom resume. Now that we've covered template management, let's create a custom resume. Go to a candidate profile, click on the Resume tab, and you'll see the default resume. If the candidate already has a resume in their profile, click on the home icon on the right side of the screen. If the candidate doesn't have a resume in their profile, click on Resume to return to the main resume menu. From the main resume menu, click on Custom. If you haven't yet created a custom resume for that candidate, you'll be prompted to create one. Click on New Custom Resume and name the resume. In the template section, you'll see all custom resume templates added in the administration menu with a preview of each resume on the right. Select a template, then click Continue. A custom resume can be generated in three ways, using data parsed from the candidate's original resume only, using the candidate's profile summary, which includes data from all sources like LinkedIn and the original resume, from scratch, requiring all data to be entered manually. Please note that if a template contains custom fields, they will only be filled if you select the Auto Populate from Manitol Summary option. Once generated, you'll access the Custom Resume Editor where you can edit, preview, and download the resume. Keep the toggles on for the sections and fields you want to display on the candidate's resume. Edit existing information or add new data as needed. Adjust sorting preferences set up in the administration menu if desired and remove any data you no longer need from the resume. Click Save when all your edits are complete. Finally, click Export PDF to download the resume.
And that's it for this explainer video on how to create and manage custom resumes in Manitol. Be sure to check out our other guides to fully leverage the platform's features.